Notion has recently released Page and Workspace Analytics. Page Analytics are available in any plan that you have in Notion, whether it be free, plus business or enterprise plan, whereas workspace analytics are only available for enterprise plans. And page analytics really are a way for you to see the engagement that you have on any given page in your Notion workspace. Who was the person who last edited that page? Who the page was created by? Let's get into it and look at what page analytics look like. This is a Notion page. And if I go on the upper right corner, there is all updates and that's the clock icon that you can see right there. And when you click this icon, there are two sections. One is for updates and that's the conventional one. This was already here and nothing new on this side. And the second tab, and that's the new tab, the new feature is analytics. And here you can see a graph as well as some data of the amount of viewers of that page. And if you are collaborating with other people, you will see who are these viewers and when was the last visit that they had this page. You can also see the person who created that page as well as the person who recently edited that page. As a user in a Notion workspace, you can also go to settings and then here you have an option to not record your activity in a Notion page. So that is a handy privacy feature so that if you do not want your activity to be recorded, then this is where you can switch it off. Still, you will be counted as a viewer in the graph, but your name will not be recorded as a viewer. At the top right corner of the analytics tab, you can define the scope of view last seven days, 28 and 90 days. There is no all time. So these are the only time frames available right now. And here on the left hand side, you can see the total amount of views and then you get the graph with the total views and total unique views from unique. And that is all there is right now to Notion page analytics, this feature that was launched in February 2023. If you have a Notion enterprise plan, you also have workspace analytics. And these are insights workspace wide on the engagement of people on your pages, the search terms that are most used. And these analytics are mostly meant to be for you as a workspace owner or a manager of your Notion workspace to get insights on the activity of people, what is clicking with people, what people are searching for, what is helping them, what is not helping them, and then you can define your strategy for the development of the workspace and the optimization of your pages based on those insights. In the enterprise plan, when you go on settings and members, you will have a new section that is called analytics. And that's where you can see the analytics across your entire workspace. And here you do not have only three timeframes, but you can also see the data for all time. And you can see unique views, total views, the edits made, and what are your most popular pages in terms of number of views. In here you can see all the members that you have over time and how they changed and you can change the scope here. You can see the content, namely the most frequently visited content or page and the least frequently visited page. And you can see the most common searches within your workspace. So what people are searching for, what terms are the most searched through the search feature that is right here at the top left corner of the sidebar menu or control P as a shortcut. So these are page analytics and workspace analytics, the latter only being available on the enterprise Notion plan. These features are brand new and a core change in Notion's approach or interface. So we might see changes in the near future, but for now, that's what we have. In addition to the page analytics, a new relevant feature that was launched was bulk updates or deletion of pages in a database. So whenever you have a database such as this one, now, you do not need to select all of them if you want to delete pages or if you want to change a property across multiple pages but rather you have this select option that allows you to select all the entries or you can select multiple entries at the same time just like that and then you can delete them in bulk or you can change a specific property in bulk based on what you need so right here if you want to change the area for these selected pages for example you can hit area and then change it to whatever value you need or if you want to change another property that is not shown here on this editing bar, then you can hit the three dots and then edit property. And this is where you can find also the other properties that are not showing up in the top bar here. So whatever you see in the top bar are the properties that you see in the table. And the first four properties are going to be displayed here. And you can see them in the order they are displayed on the database view that you are editing. That is really it for now. February 2023. Those are three new worth mentioning Notion features that just launched. Page analytics might allow you to get insights on your pages and if you have an enterprise plan on your entire workspace and how people interact within your Notion workspace and pages. And if you want to do anything about it, you are empowered to do so. If you don't want your activity 
to be recorded and your username to be displayed on page analytics you can turn that feature off and finally you can bulk update pages in a database by selecting multiple pages at the same time and then either editing the property in bulk or deleting them in bulk these are the latest updates if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below in the comments thank you for watching for now and see you soon